Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over Pop the Balloon with Arlette Amole. And we're going to see what happens in this interaction. We have a lineup of ladies, beautiful ladies. A gentleman will come forth and the ladies will decide if they like him or not based on what they do with their balloons. So, what I will do is I will allow you to watch the entire interaction after which I will give my thoughts. But let's go guys, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe if you so feel the need to do so. And let's get the conversation started in the comments section. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. Come on a little closer, come on in, don't be scared. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Tavarius. Tavarius, how old are you? I'm 29. And what do you do? I uh, actually, I'm on tour for our PBS Children's Story. Oh, yeah. like you write children's books yeah. or? I have an animation company that I started when I was 21 years old. Nice. And then um, it's basically about my childhood and teaching young black boys that black dads do care. Wow, I love yeah. that. Oh, okay. Now, uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, so I have a Airbnb that's kind of like in the lake. So mm -hmm. I'm a nature boy. So mm -hmm. I love to climb trees um, in my time off. Um, I love to draw. Um, and I honestly just like peace. So okay. I do a lot of peace and help for people who like need emotional regulation. Okay, nice. Yeah. Now, what are some things you like for in a woman? Um, I kind of take everybody for who they are. Okay. So if you are um, naturally more outgoing, I try to match that. Mm -hmm. If you're inside, I try to match that. So I'm kind of like, I'm a, I like to make my woman happy. Okay. Yeah. Now what are some deal breakers? Uh, deal breakers is if you don't have any passion, you mm -hmm. know, like if you don't know what you want to do in life, I kind of can't help you with that. You know, you got to love yourself and figure that out for yourself. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we did get uh, some pop balloons. Let's go on over yeah. there and see why they ended up popping. All right, pop. All right. If we can start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yes. Hi, I'm Ishi. I'm 28. Nice to meet Firstly, you. I want to say that you're a very well-rounded young man. Like everything that you have going on, A1. Um, it was the attraction for me and then also the height. I'm pretty tall, so I yeah. want somebody that's going to, that I can look up to. Cool. Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? I think she's very gorgeous. Thank um, you. I am 6'2", so I don't know how tall you are, but, uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, thank I'm you. I'm five, six and a half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to our next yeah. lady here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, hi, I'm Tara. I'm 24 years old, and um, I, just initial attraction. You're very handsome and, thank like, you. yeah, thank really well-groomed. Thank you. I think it was just, yeah, just initial attraction for me. And now, is she someone that's your type? Once again, I think all of these women are gorgeous. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't think, I, don't, I didn't hear the, get to hear what they right. said. So, just off of looking, I think they're beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's go on over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Renee, yeah. I'm 25. Yeah. I popped my balloon because of basically the height. I think you're yeah. very handsome, and yeah. I love that you're giving back to your community you. with working with the kids. But, yeah, it was just the height. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how tall are you? Um, 5'11". You're 5'11", and with hills right I'm now. about 6 feet, 6'1". Six and so now I'm looking at you in your eyes. So I, I don't will, think I'll... so. I think you're a little shorter. <laughs> yeah, she's taller than you. So she's 5'11", right? So now with the how tall them hills? I'm not sure, but I think I'm about 6'1", right now. So... Let me see. Those hills look about like 3 inches. Yeah. So that's like 6 what? That's about 6'2". And so where am I? That's about 6'2", <laughs> so but she's about, taller than you right now. Where am I with her right now? You're about an, you're about an inch so shorter six, than her. Six, 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 six. Okay, we'll give you six one. <laughs> I'm one more for one inch. I'm sorry, ladies. <laughs> so I'm not short though, right? I'm no, not you're a short not short, kid. but you're just not you, as baby. tall as I would like you to it's be. So, but you're very handsome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was just making sure I'm not a liar though. You know me? You know me? 
Thank you. All right, let's yeah. go to our next lady. Yeah. Your name and age and why you ended up oh, sorry, popping your that. balloon. My name is D. I'm 27. I popped my balloon because you kind of look like my cousin. I'm I so it. sorry. I don't want to date my cousin either. <laughs> <I didn't know. laughs> you know but you look good. You're gorgeous too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very pretty skin. I like that. Thank you so much. Chocolate. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Tiffany and I'm 26. And I initially popped it because of the outfit. But now that I get close to you and I heard what you say, I want my balloon back. Because oh. Oh, <laughs> I can always change your fit, baby. I love I, I love fashion. Thank we can you. go shopping. Thank you. And I actually have more fits in my book bag back there. You feel me? Like, can you get that balloon? Yeah. Oh, my. She asked for it. I'll hand it to you. Thank you. Well, we'll be I like back. spoiling my lady. We'll be back. Sure. Okay, let's go on to these next ones. <laughs> your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Kamina. I'm 27, and I popped my balloon because, like she said, because I'm Haitian, and you look a lot of like my relative. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. Your relative's beautiful, then. Yeah, you are very handsome, though. You're Thank very you. handsome and yeah, Thank well groomed, like she said. Thank I agree. How are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you yeah. too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's go over here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Carrington. Mm -hmm. I'm 26. Um, I popped because of the outfit. I mean, mm -hmm. you are. Yeah extremely handsome. so i need to go back there and yeah change. honestly <laughs> like i'm so sorry the outfit threw me but i don't know right. it's can you help the, me out what's wrong with the outfit? like the combination wrong nothing's it? wrong with the combination I'm i don't blind, like how it fits i'm colorblind so like oh you match baby though oh. <laughs> yeah. so, but it's a, yeah. it's a, that's the fit it's just how it fits kind okay. of throws me like your body's great Got your you. face is great teeth everything is gotcha. eaten, but it's just, the it just I didn't, yeah, like something about it is not like what, it's, it's too just, tight, it's too short. Yeah. What, it's it's too probably, tight. probably too tight because okay. right. the way that you, out. yeah, you like, and we yeah. can tell, and it would have shown in yeah. anything, honestly. Gotcha. Um, and I love everything that you said, gotcha. so you are, I gotta cancel my friends, they told me to wear this, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was they set you up, but <laughs> yeah, they set me like, up crazy. I would get my balloon back, but yeah, mm, yeah, no, I get it. First impressions, everything. I'm actually a professor and I teach that. First impression is everything, guys. First impression is everything. I apologize that I had to come in at this point. But there are a few things I want to highlight. I don't want to forget at the end of the interaction. So we have two ladies who are saying, you are perfect, but you look like someone in my family. We have, uh, remember, if you were watching earlier, this lady that took her balloon back, she is actually a stripper. So she has decided, after hearing the things that she does, after popping her balloon immediately upon gentlemen entering the room, once again, she's following the flock, pop the balloon, just like everybody else without hearing anything that he says the balloon was popped now she got a chance to hear a bit of the substance that is within this man this man is going places she has made a u-turn and decided she needs to have that guy now what does that say for you gentlemen There was a time when women generally viewed accomplishments or his ability to make her laugh, his ability to be spontaneous, his ability to have a game as something that gives you shoes and signals. However, we have become so transactional that this is what it comes down to. I don't like how you look. I will, and these are things that are changeable. However, if a gentleman has said, I choose, I don't like you because of your makeup, he will get hell and he will be brought down from heaven to the deepest depths of hell with vitriol and bile and vile and all the negative connotations that can be used. That is so often 
use against men for stating their opinions. Men know that presentation is important. Women will say to you, if you are judging them by their appearance, they will say to you, you cannot judge a book by the cover and all of the semantics. But what we see here is something that shows how 2024 women choose their partners, choose their mates. Pookie and Riri are going to have a feeling with these broads. Um, so I teach Look, this got icing on the fucking cake. Yeah, like, yeah, so I, I, I get it. Yeah, right, thank yeah. you. Let's go on over here. Yeah. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your blood? I'm Kay. I'm 27. Um, it was just a fit thing. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. The pants are definitely too tight. Way um, too tight, right? But you're not okay. unattractive, though. Nice, yeah, you. you're, thank yeah. You. My grandma but told me the creases. You want me to put the creases yeah, in Yeah, no. I'm old that, school, See, that bro. was back in the gal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I treat my lady old school. For sure. You know, For sure. so. I respect yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your blood. My name is Christina. I'm 24. Mm -hmm. I popped because I didn't feel like a spark and mm -hmm. because of the fit as well. But gotcha. I really like your personality. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Our last lady here. Mm -hmm. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hello, I'm Kia, 29. Uh -huh. I don't see anything wrong with your fit. And I also love the shoes, love Thank the creases. You. I'm old school as well. Um, was really close with my, with my grandmother, so yeah. I, I I understand. I'm you also work baby. out. I'm a yeah, grandma's baby. So am That's I. Like She's on my screensaver, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, I think you, you look great. Um, just initially, I wasn't uh, initially attracted. Gotcha. I didn't want to immediately pop. Yeah. I wanted you to have the platform to be able to yeah. speak and you know give a little background about yourself. Yeah. It's just a small group of women. Your yeah. woman might not be here, but there's plenty of millions of women watching. But she might be here. For sure. So for sure. I'm rooting for you. For sure. For sure. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Let's head on back to our lady over here. All right. Any questions between the two of you? Feel free. Um, do you have any kids? No kids. No kids. I have a kid. Okay. Cool. Cool. And how old? Two. Okay, awesome. It's the what's the situation with your me and my son's father do week to week. We have good mm -hmm. co-parenting relationship. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And why did that end? It ended because I was in a relationship with him for six years and yeah. he didn't marry me. Oh, got got you. So it was like it was a boundary. Yeah, I got had you. to stand on business. I had to go, awesome. and you know, I was with him from nineteen till seven oh, eight months got ago. You, got so. you. So childhood. childhood. Yeah. Got you. Cool. I have a question if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite genre of music and the artist? I love R and B and pop and okay. my favorite artist is Michael Jackson. Word. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Do you like to dance? Yes, I love to dance. I'm a dancer. You're I'm an exotic. I've dated dancer. a lot of dancers. Really? Yeah. Oh. I've dated a lot of dancers. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have no problem with that. I think I think I'm good with a young lady right there. Come on, yeah. Tiffany, come on. My brother, my brother, my brother. I think you fell into this. The, I think you fell into your desperation. You decided that whichever one you were going to keep that one once you got chosen. If you had went on to ask a bit more, you would have understood that it's actually an exotic dancer. And also, you are going into a relationship now. You are, you are, by virtue of your actions, putting yourself into a position to be in a relationship with a stripper who is the mother of a two-year-old coming out of a seven-year relationship. And this seven-year relationship ended eight months ago. I'm trying to wonder why aren't the red flags, why aren't the stoplights um, going off in your head, my brother? This is not a good deal. This is just a bit too early for you to go into a situation where your stepdad at best who is not respected 
by the other party. My brother, there are sips out there and you seem to be one of them. It's just my opinion, but let's go. Oh, come on up! <laughs> All right, so he said he's good. Are you good? No, any other questions? Where do you live? I'm on tour right now on PBS for TB Adventures. Mm -hmm. So I'm traveling to different cities and just educating kids right now. So you love kids, um, you just don't have any? What do you say? You love kids, you just don't have I any. I don't have any. I'm 29, so I didn't get to having kids yet. Do you, you want know? kids? I do want kids. Um, I mean, I would love to see my kids see TB on the screen, which is me. Oh. That's like, I'm a superhero at that mm -hmm. point, you know? That's I want more kids. I just want to be married first. That's fine with me. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's fine with me. All right, well yeah. then, is it gonna? She wants more kids, but she wants to be married first, and this speaks to guys. The stepfather always has a bigger hurdle to climb than Pookie, who decided that he didn't want to marry her after seven years, but he made her a baby mother. This is a requirement she is now putting up front, front and center, before the start of the relationship that she didn't put up front at year one, two, three, four, five of the relationship that produced her two year old. And you are getting a raw deal, my brother. But once again, there are sims out there, and you have proven to be one. But let's see how this one goes. It'll be a yes for you for him. Yes. And yeah. it's a yes for you for her. For sure. We got a match! I'll take this mic, and you guys can go on up. Let's make it up. Let's make some noise. <laughs> So gentlemen, never let desperation choose your future. Never, in acts of desperation, pick a choice that doesn't benefit you in the long run. At no point should you overlook red flags and think that they may not be that important because they are that important so in this episode what i saw was once again it shows the nature of women women are generally the same in the mindset in the things they want and in the things that they are attracted to there is very little you can do to change a woman's intrinsic mindset, the way that she relates to certain things in her environment, there is very little you can do about it. You have only two options. You can manipulate the way they respond to things in their environment, like Pookie and Ray Ray and Nook Nook do, or you can educate yourself and put the focus on you and make yourself the best man for that woman that is going to come under your covering and be part of your family. But once again, guys, thank you so much for checking in. Yes, this was an interesting one. Got a lot going. Got a lot going. But I'll see you in the next one. Once again, it's daily. Daily misogyny. Daily misandry. Daily everything. We react and we give our thoughts. Let's go.